Currently on the global scale, Pakistan is ranked 13th in the world in regards to military power. Now the Pakistani Armed Forces comprises of three main branches and those are the Pakistan Army, the Pakistan Navy and the Pakistan Air Force. All the branches work together during operations under the Joint Staff Headquarters or the JSHQ. Thank you guys for joining me here on another episode of FTD Facts. My name is Leroy Kenton and excuse me if my voice is a little bit off. I've just been overcoming some type of sickness that hit me after I went to VidCon this weekend, so yeah. But ever since we started our video series on the military powers of the different countries, Pakistan has been like the highest requested video. People like Ashok Chatterjee, Yasser Jamil, Ahmad Mujahid, and Hamza Muhammad have all requested for us to do a video on Pakistan's military power. Now according to worldometers.info, the population of Pakistan is currently 196,716,116 people. Of that population total, the available manpower in Pakistan numbers at 95 million. Pakistan's total military personnel, however, totals at 1,135,000. That includes active personnel numbering at 620,000, as well as reserve personnel totaling at 515,000 people. Now, ever since the partition of 1947, the the Islamic Republic of Pakistan has fought several wars including five with India as well as two ongoing conflicts that have been going on over a decade now. The first conflict with the Pakistan Liberation Army which is a militant organization based in Pakistan and Afghanistan as well as against Al-Qaeda, Pakistani Taliban and more recently ISIS. Now before I continue with the facts, just gotta let you guys know that this video is actually co-produced by one of our FTD Facts fans. Instagram user Farhanistan who lives in Pakistan, he sent us in some facts about Pakistan's military on Instagram. So thanks man, you're our official co-producer of this episode. I just gotta say that you guys out there in the FTD Facts community do some amazing research. So keep sending in your facts, keep sending in your clips, and we'll continue to do our best to feature as many of you as possible in these episodes. So thank you so much, guys. We couldn't really make these videos without you. Well, we could technically, but it's just better working with you guys. Teamwork. As well as thanks so much to MD Yasal for sending in an email. He told us about this YouTube channel, the Pakistan Army, and we'll be using some of their clips in this episode. Like it. It's a great channel if you want even more information about Pakistan's military or see some of the cool military footage that they have. I'll have the link to that down below. Okay, so let's continue now with Pakistan's air power. Their total aircraft strength numbers at 951. They have 301 fighter aircrafts, 394 attack aircrafts, 261 transport aircrafts and their trainer aircrafts number in at 190. In terms of helicopter strength, they total at 316 and 52 is the amount of attack helicopters that Pakistan has. Now let's take a look at the land systems that help fuel the power of Pakistan's army. Combat tanks total at 2,924. There are 2,828 armored fighting vehicles. The number of self-propelled artillery is at 465, towed artillery is at 3,278, and Pakistan has in their possession 134 rocket projectors. Now real quick, I want to introduce the special service group known as the SSG. This is a primary special operations force in Pakistan's army. It's made up of 5,600 men, and all of the people intending to become part of the SSG must participate in a nine-month course at the Chirat base. The SSG course focuses a lot on physical conditioning, and part of the training includes a 36-mile march that has to be completed in 12 hours. There's also a series of airborne training as well as airborne jumps that must be completed in order to earn their wings. From there, a two-week advanced training course is done where intense hand-to-hand -hand combat is mandatory. On top of that, there's a lot of hard physical training that has to be done. And because of that, only 5% of the recruits that want to join the SSG actually join because that's how tough the training is. Because the SSG go through a wide range of grueling training including sniping, demolition, survival, language skills, martial arts, espionage, and psychoanalytic training. In 2015 actually, they were listed as the best special force service in the world. I mean, they beat out the US Navy SEALs, 
as well as the British Special Air Service Group. The Navy strength of Pakistan isn't that great. They only have 10 frigates, 8 submarines, 17 patrol crafts, and 3 mine warfare vessels. In terms of their military logistics to get people and equipment from one place to another, the labor force of that is comprised of 65,100,000 people. Their merchant marine strength stands at 11. Pakistan has two major ports and terminals. They have 7,791 kilometers of railway coverage and a total of 151 serviceable airports. In terms of Pakistan's military budget in US dollars, that amount was $7 billion, but it jumped up to $8.7 billion this year. Now, considering the fact that Pakistan does possess nuclear weapons, their military is strong enough to defend their borders against any sort of onslaught. And they're not gonna go down as easily as a lot of people think because Pakistan is often considered a failed state. But you gotta keep in mind that they are the sixth largest in the world in terms of active military personnel. And they're the largest among the other Muslim majority countries. As well as reportedly, Pakistan is the only Muslim majority country that possesses nuclear weapons. With allies including the USA seemingly, Saudi Arabia, Turkey and China? Yeah, China is an ally, although that is questionable by many people. Pakistan would definitely have a lot to fall back on when it comes to wartime. However, given Pakistan's location, when it would come to wartime, things don't necessarily come that easy. You have Afghanistan on one side, you have India on the other side. Two current rival nations, you're just sandwiched between them. Because of this, their cities, especially along the border with India, stay heavily guarded in case of any surprise attacks. Pakistan also is among the top five nations in the world with the most acts of terrorism, despite terrorism being at the lowest level within the past decade. So there's some instability and unrest in that department, as well as Pakistan's energy crisis. It's a very critical issue in Pakistan that needs to be addressed as soon as possible. To do this, this would require Pakistan to engage its allies like China to invest a lot in Pakistan's energy projects. With with various instabilities, Pakistan for future progression needs to invest heavily into creating alliances and strengthening their current ones because of their growing population, keeping up with the demand for energy, while at the same time defending its borders so heavily proves to be a very challenging task. This episode of FTD Facts is sponsored by Grammarly.com. Grammarly is one of the leading softwares in terms of improving your written English. I mean, literally, it offers hundreds of spelling and grammatical errors that you make normally every single day that you don't even notice. You can install it for free. The link to that is down below. As well as if you love Grammarly, you can always purchase the upgrade for even more features. And guys, the more you support our sponsors like Grammarly, the more you make these videos possible, especially these type of videos videos when we talk about war and conflict. But nonetheless, as we've seen in the past, the people of Pakistan are very resilient. They do not back down that easily. And regardless of the internal conflicts, the people of Pakistan still walk with their heads held high, being proud of their nationality and heritage. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if this is your first time here as well as click that bell notification to not miss any new videos. Here's our playlist of other military power videos that you'll definitely enjoy or you can check out some other videos relating to general facts about Pakistan and other countries. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in another video.